see is some hearts floating up that screen. Good morning, boys and girls, mommies and daddies. Welcome to our ninth full week of RME's Music Lab. That's right, we're almost in the double digits. We're here having fun with you today to start off the week for Blue Monday on RME's Music Lab. We've got some blues lyrics to start off the show. We have an unbelievably fun, bluesy, funky album to share with you today. I'm super excited about. We've got birthdays to talk about today. Miss Kate wrote some blues lyrics, which we'll explain later. Maybe we can even get her up on here to sing some blues for y'all. <laughs> How fun would that be? Let's see. Where do we start? As always, if you're new to the program, send in your name, your age, and what city and state that you're from so we can add you on our Music Lab United States of America map. We're going to have a fun week this week. I mean, it's week nine, so everything's up in the air and everything's up for grabs. If you have any suggestions, if there's any album musician or band that you'd like to learn about share it in the comment section we'll make sure if we have the album here in our big old alphabetized collection we will pull it out and share it with you guys there's so much music we need to share with the world especially if the kiddos out there but first i think let's see let's start off with let's do happy birthday first how's that sound as always on Monday, we always do a big shout out for all of the birthdays for this week. And we have a ton of birthdays going on today, as a matter of fact. Hey, would you look at that balloon? It says happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. birthday over the weekend and this week. Yeah! Happy birthday, everybody. There's a ton of birthdays we got. What do we got? There's a bunch of musicians' birthdays. There's a bunch of music lovers' birthdays in the Quad City. But there's a very special birthday that I want to give a shout out to. Nick Webb. Our second floor Redstone Room Manager at the River Music Experience. Happy birthday, Nick. I hope you're doing well out there, buddy. Some other names to throw out. We got Robin, one of the biggest music lovers here in the Quad Cities. It's her birthday today. Matt Fuller, a very young gentleman who went through our camps at the River Music Experience. He is probably the best guitar player in all of the land. Uh, he was that way when he was this many. And, uh, you know, what a big day. And he's a very special, humble, exciting gentleman. And happy birthday to Matt Fuller. And Alicia Espy, a massive music fan throughout the Quad City. She works with Downtown Davenport Partnership. And she is just a special person. Massive music lover. So a big happy birthday to all of you out there. Let's give a big shout out to Bob and Renee for tuning in once again. Good morning. We've got Lori Beaman. Thank you, Miss Kate. We've got Josh Strauss tuned in, man. How are you? It's good to see you, buddy. Keith Landsteiner, good morning. Uh, your song is amazing, by the way. I've got the reply to you here later today, buddy. we got Tanya and Ed English. Ed is at home doing great. That's good news to hear, buddy. Happy, happy being home. I miss your face, and I hope all is well. we got Jamie Aiken tuned in today. Uh, we got Arliss Musil turned in. Good morning, Arliss. I hope you're doing well. Jamie, hello. And, of course, the Shannon family tuned in. How exciting. All right. Well, we're off and running. Let's shake off this Monday morning blues, since it's Blue Monday, with some blues lyrics here today for our ninth full week of Music Lab. Hey! Kids. 
kids taught me how to dab at school, yeah. Uh. I don't know if that means where it came from, but you know what? It is fun to do. You don't have to be a sports star to score a touchdown for that. Good morning, good morning. I hope you're keeping clean with your hygiene and quarantine. Good morning, good morning. I hope you're keeping clean when you're in quarantine. Yeah, in nine weeks I finally brushed my teeth. And now I feel sparkly clean. Not only did I brush my teeth, but I'm going to take a shower. Hey, that's a big step. In nine weeks, not only did I brush my teeth, but I'm gonna take a shower. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna start off this week smelling like a flower. Yeah, everybody brush their teeth and take a shower today. It's hard to forget sometimes when we're all just sitting around and wondering what we do. Do we drink another cup of coffee by the fire or should I brush my teeth today? The answer is both. <laughs> all right. Blues lyrics out the way. We've got an awesome record to do today. But first, let's see. We had a puppy, Miss Kate and I, and his name was Huckleberry. And... You know, we miss him a ton during quarantine uh, because it would be his dream come true with us being home so much. But, um, let's see. He's always here in spirit. And Miss Kate, for years, I've said 10 years I've known you, uh, with her friend Siri, they started writing down lyrics of an album about Huckleberry for some reason, just because he's a hilarious pooch. Huckleberry was a, uh, he wouldn't bark much, you know. Of course, he'd bark at babies walking down the street, and he'd bark at the mailman. But if you let him outside, he'd run up to you and just, he'd give you kisses to death. So, Miss Kate uh, and her friend Siri just started uh, writing down lyrics. Here's what Mr. Huckleberry Here's looked like. Yeah. He's smiley. And the way he he'd communicate it. wouldn't be barking. He'd, he'd whine all the time. So he'd come up to you just, burr, 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 turn his head, burr. Uh, you know, so there were songs like, Huck, why are you whining so much? <laughs> and, you know, I'm thirsty. I did, why, I'm thirsty because, you know, whenever a guest would come over to the house, uh, he would immediately go to his water bowl and just drink the whole entire thing like we never feed the pooch water. So I'm thirsty. You know, and why you whining so much? But Miss Kate, last week, wrote some lyrics down, which are pretty funny. Do you want to give them a nice intro to this song? Yeah, this is um, this is a story about, true story, about uh, one time Huck uh, went and done rolled in something he should have. Yeah. So. That was his M.O. Always right when he'd get a bath. He'd right go. after a bath, he'd, he'd go out and roll in something that made him extra smelly again. <laughs> this is a story about that. All right. So since it's Blue Monday, uh, maybe I'll play a kid's song over the idea of, of this blues groove. But we wanted to actually talk about this blues groove. You know, uh, I've heard some people say that whenever they're feeling blue or down, they sing the blues to themselves. It's even in an office in the episode when Daryl's sad. He says, I just like to sing the blues. Dun, 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 dun. So there's that whole feel. Dun, 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 dun. And just insert lyrics. So if you're ever feeling blue, just insert your lyrics, everybody. So we're going to use the idea of that groove, a Muddy Waters groove, one of the godfathers of Chicago blues. And Miss Kate is going to sing Mad Mama Blues. <laughs> Can't see straight. 
Cause she found out what I did. That's bad. And now I gotta take my fate. See, I found that dead squirrel. Done rolled all up and around. All up and around. Now I stink so bad. She's howling all over town. Ooh. I got those mad mama blues. So bad. Yeah, I got those mad mama blues. And now she's got those red eyes. Ooh, I got those mad mama blues. Yeah, that's pretty good. True story. Rawr, she's so mad. <laughs> Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, well, now we're stuck in limbo. Let's get ready to do that chorus then. Just feel the groove, bah, 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 and write the blues. It doesn't have to rhyme, it just has to, just gotta feel it. I think that's my first time actually singing lead on an internet show, so win for the day. Check you out, all right. No, no professional training here. Somebody call Quincy Jones, <laughs> say we got natural talent here. Natural talent, there ain't no training up in here. Just feeling the blues. That was very good, Miss Kate. Maybe Thank I'll you write so much. some more verses and we can do that again someday. I hope you do. We'll have a whole verse of songs of Bad, My, Bad Mama Blues. All right, well, there you go. There's some fun stories about our poochie. Huckleberry, he used to like to roll around in things to make him stinky after a bath. All right, miss you, buddy. Okay, today's album. We're talking about a gentleman who took flavors of music from all around the world and incorporated it into his style of blues. Somebody who has influenced everybody. Somebody who should be just as popular of a name as B.B. King, as popular as a name as, you know, Freddie and Albert King, Buddy Guy, Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters. This gentleman played with all of these musicians, and I am talking about the one, the only, Taj Mahal. That's right. Taj was the man, is the man, right? He is, his birthday was yesterday. He is 78 years old and he still tours around and plays his blues and he makes everybody feel good. If you have never heard of Taj Mahal before, you are in for a treat because his flavor of blues music is only his own. Nobody has played the blues like Mr. Taj Mahal. So this album is called The Natural Blues. There you go. And we are going to put in the comment section a tune off of this album. It's called She Caught the Key and Left Me a Mule to Ride. And for a bonus song, we're going to put in Leaving Trump, a song off of a different album of his. But honestly, if you have time, go on the internet and listen to every one of Taj Mahal's albums. They are absolutely incredible and just fun. They make you feel fun. Miss Kate wrote a bunch of stuff down about Taj Mahal, so here we go. His real name is Henry St. Clair Fredericks. That is a very strong name, <laughs> right? Uh, A.K.A. Taj Mahal. He was born May 17, 1942. As I said, his birthday was yesterday. He's 78 years old. He's an American blues musician. He's a film composer 
and a multi-instrumentalist. He plays tons of different instruments, and he's incredible at all of them. It's really, really great. He even has a Hawaiian-type flavored album where he plays ukulele a lot. I have to check that out. Let's see, often incorporated elements of world music into his music. He was reshaped the definition, uh, the scope of the blues with over 50 plus year career. He makes Caribbean, African, Southern Pacific. Uh, his family owned a, a shortwave radio, which, re, um, which received broadcasts from all over the world. So he soaked up the idea of all of this world music. And that's why his his music he created is a little bit different from other blues musicians who didn't have a shortwave radio, for example, and they just had a radio that played music from their region. So that's why he is so eclectic, because he took music from all around the world and incorporated it into his blues. Todd started uh, playing music at the young, a very early age, piano, clarinet, trombone, harmonica, guitar, ukulele, so much more. His stage name came to him in a dream about, <laughs> about Gandhi. That's a fun fact. I didn't know that. Uh, let's see. He wanted to be all about social tolerance. He loved uh, the country of India. So it came from a dream he had about Gandhi. He played with every blues musician you could think of. He developed his style and incorporated world influences over the years. He's won... Well, he's won three Grammys. He's had ten Grammy nominations. That's a lot. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. We're going to try and play a Taj Mahal song. So, as you guys know, the first movie I ever remember seeing was The Blues Brothers. And it's still, to this day, hands down, favorite movie of mine. And The Blues Brothers covered one of Taj Mahal's songs called She Caught the Katie and did an amazing version of that song. And I just bring that up to let you know that I was influenced by Taj Mahal's music since I was this big, three years old, right? I remember it for some reason. And uh, so I'm gonna try and give this tune a shot. <laughs>
section and let's have some fun with it all right so we were talking about that blues groove that muddy waters bum, bum, bum. right it's just quintessential it's massive it's strong it's powerful the simplicity of the idea of the blues is what makes it difficult to play because when people come up with their own version of the blues it's how their emotional appeal uh, and delivery is what makes it so special. So you take something so simple as right? I just want to give you an example. Let's take a kitty song here that isn't blues, but it works over these blues lyrics. So here's just the example of all day long. I want you to sing any song and you could sing over this groove bah, 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 bah. and maybe tomorrow you could just let us know if there was a special kind of song that wasn't blues but it fit over this blues form that would be fun right i was listening to journey and all of a sudden this worked you never know it worked so here we go i come from alabama with a banjo on my knee I'm going to Louisiana for my true love to see. It rained all night the day I left. The weather was dry. The sun was so hot I froze to death. Oh, Susanna.
All right. There's an example of that blues groove by Muddy Waters that will fit over any song, hands down, guaranteed. So if you're walking around today and you think of any song and it goes over that, tomorrow share it in the comments because that's kind of a fun game. I want to hear the most poppy pop song that completely works over that. Well, that's it for Monday's episode of Blue Monday on Music Lab. Great week. Great way to start out our ninth full week today. And I hope you guys enjoy your day today. It's cloudy. It's dark outside. So everybody just relax. Everything's going to be back to normal soon. So put on your house shoes. Kick back by a fire if you can. And just enjoy the day. Call a friend. Call a family member. Tell them that you love them. So thank you guys so much. If you like the River Music Experience, you can always go to River Music Experience slash donate. More importantly, we just need you here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. So spread the word. Send out all the love to everybody you know. And always remember that you're important and perfect for just being you. Thank you guys for tuning in today. And we'll see you tomorrow at 10. <laughs> Taj Mahal would do. Mm -hmm. You can talk about the ABCs, talk about those one, two, threes, all about having fun together. Yeah, we can talk about family, we can talk about anything. Yeah, it's all about you and me. see you tomorrow. Listen to Taj Mahal. Listen to Taj. It was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Taj. It's the natural blues. Thanks for watching. If you want to help support River Music Experience and other programs like Music Lab, visit rivermusicexperience.org slash donate.